we'll just talk about what's yep. coming our way. Another storm. There we go. Another storm. Just like they were saying, you get past one and you know there's another one coming. And there's another one on the dock. And here's what's coming in next Sunday and Monday, a winter storm, but still strong winds. And those winds churn up the Atlantic Ocean, too. makes it a bit more angry. Uh, so we'll have to worry about the wintry weather on the way to end the weekend and start next week. But today it was plenty of warm. In fact, our highs normally this time of year are 36 degrees. But here is well we, where we fell today, right around 52 for high. That is more in line with what we did anticipate for. Nice spring day on March the 31st. We were 52 in Boston, 54 in Norwood. I believe uh, actually New Bedford and Taunton got to about 56 degrees today. Across Cape, Cape Ann, high temperatures were in the upper 40s. So for everyone, it was nice and comfortable. We could shed the layer or two today just because of the milder 80. Spots of sunshine that has since given way to clouds that have continued to push through. And we'll push in tonight ahead of our next chance of rain first, mostly rainfall for the Commonwealth and the South Coast. A few pockets of freezing rain and even sleet from Laconia and Tekin as colder air surges in from the north. It doesn't make it any further south than I would say right across the state line, although we do have winter weather advisories through north central Worcester County, but I think we'll see that verify, though, those winter weather conditions through lower portions of the Merrimack River Valley. By 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock tomorrow, the lion's share of the rainfall is gone. The snow is to the north and the shower should break apart. One or two spots of sunshine tomorrow, not a lot of sun, plenty of clouds and that onshore breeze keeps us in the 40s. And we're looking at another half an inch of rainfall or so between now and Sunday morning and the, or Saturday morning, rather. And the reason I say that is because there's a quick burst of showers, rain on Saturday across portions of Boston and central Massachusetts. Tonight, we're down to 40. Again, that onshore breeze is very prevalent and prominent tomorrow. Keeps us at 42. Still warmer than normal, just not 50 degrees like we had today. Saturday's highs are right around 44 to 45. It's a quick burst of rain. Still mild overall for that day. And we'll note that the uh, peak of everything in terms of the best chance of rainfall on Saturday is right around 9 o'clock in the morning and things taper off from there to about noon. Then the next chance ramps up of rain and some snow Sunday evening and gets more substantial into Monday morning. So the onset of this next storm coming in for Sunday will likely be rain turning over into snow through the greater Boston Metro, through Brockton and Bridgewater as well across the South Coast and Cape Cod. It's mostly rainfall through Cape Ann. I think it's a mix of rain and snow and then across north central Worcester County and the lower Merrimack River Valley and the Route 2 corridor should be mostly snow. Now the amounts right now, it's a little bit too early to make a distinct call, but it seems like there's overall a footprint of heavy snow from Worcester to Lemonster and into Manchester through Middlesex County and Haverhill as well. Moderate snowfall amounts through Boston and the North Shore and across the South Shore too, with things tapering off the further south you go. In terms of forecast confidence right now, I think it's a solid shot or a safe bet to say we're likely to get two to four inches of uh, snowfall rather in the greater Boston Metro and through Metro West with things ramping up for there. But notice what's not off the table just yet. Four to six inches of rain and about a 30% chance. So I think we'll start to get more clarity, more guidance in the days to come. So do check back in here with NBC 10 Boston and the first alert weather team. We have issued a first alert day for Monday morning. It is going to be a very, very messy commute no matter what. If it's rain or snow, we're at about 29 degrees at the height of the day on Monday with temperatures warming up into Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. We really don't see this active weather pattern lay off until February the 1st with chillier temperatures, but still warmer than normal for a nice winter day.